What's up folks? Welcome back to three pound fishing. Hey, uh, we're gonna do an episode this time that I think everybody's been looking forward to. We're actually gonna fire up the Solux and we're gonna do side imaging to find the schools, to find the fish, these winter crappie. And we're gonna identify them on the Solux and then we're gonna go up there with that live scope and I'm gonna show you everything we're doing in terms of catching these fish. So check it out. It's not all about live scope. You know, we talk about it all the time. Um, in fact, speaking of live scope, have you checked out live scope, everything you need to know on Facebook? Um, it's a group that I created that's now up to about 14,000 subscribers or something. And I'll put a link right here, a link below. Check it out. There's a lot of people ask questions about live scope. So when you see stuff on videos like this, a lot of those topics, a lot of those topics are being discussed on those forums, those groups. So you can go to that live scope, everything you need to know. And uh, again, the links below, I'll put a picture of it here, the one you're looking for, and uh, check it out. There's a lot of great discussions there. Also on TikTok, Three Pound Fishing, we're there, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. So even the guide trip page, if you don't know this, the guide trip page has its own page. It's a Three Pound Fishing Guide Service page. So a lot of extra stuff that goes on, not just YouTube, but check this day out, folks. I'm excited, firing up the Solix is always a good time and uh i've been you know kind of being lazy a little bit you know i go to spots that i know there's probably gonna be crappie at and uh today our goal is to kind of find a spot that we don't know and identify it on the solix so we're going to talk about electronics too by the way especially the solix is i'll compare the solix to the helix uh which is what i had before so stay with me this is going to be a great episode beautiful day to fish overcast here we go Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. I do not use the Solex unless I'm on a lake I absolutely do not know. That is the reason why I got the Solex. Uh, that's the reason why I use the Solex. When I go to a lake I don't know, I can do some legitimate searching using side imaging. Side imaging is probably a, a lost craft for a lot of people. Now that we have live scope, we can go out there and just search with, with live scope. And it's a shame because I used to love it. I used to pride myself on the ability to use it. And uh, even I have kind of got out of touch with it. But I've got this brand new Bass Cat. I told them to put the best darn monitors they could on them. And Solix, although I think there is one ring rung up from Solix even on Hummingbird now. But either way, Solix was a step up for me from Helix. And uh, I was a little hesitant, I gotta admit. And, um, but I wanted the best and that's all that matters. But I have to tell you that but when I compare the Solix and the Helix, I'll just kind of go off on that a little bit. Um, definitely the interface with the Helix is easier. I'm sure it just takes a little bit of time to get used to the Solix, but, and, I, and I'm doing well with that, I guess. But I can tell you that you can survive and, you're, and you're, you've got good quality imaging with those Helixes based off the, how I use it. So. Not that I would change, I guess, but I'm just saying that maybe the cost isn't necessarily worth the uh, the additional. So, pixels are supposed to be a lot better. Now, I have not used the side imaging on this, so let's check it out here. Well, we're gonna start off with, and I'm not gonna bore you with the, the initial drive out, but when we get to some interesting structure, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Also gonna clean that screen. All right, so I just kind of got out here. I'm starting to look, identifying right now, clearly that there's a lot of bait fish in these in these channels. Of course, one of the advantage of a Solux is it is, you know, touch screen and you can scroll in and really look at depth. But, you know, I kind of went through my settings. I've got it set up at 80 feet wide. Sensitivity's all the way up because I really do like a bright screen. Um, I don't know why it's not any more brighter than that, but I'll have to look into that. Uh, width, of course, is 80 foot, which is what I've always liked um, in terms of range. And basically, we're just making a big cutout right now, this water and see if we can identify some crappie. Now we are definitely identifying some bait fish and that's always the starting point. Um, good things happen when you see bait fish, you know crappie can't be too far from those. So I also look for birds. That's just kind of a weird thing we do here. If you see birds diving in the water, well, they're probably diving at those, that bait fish. So, and this is how we start the day off. Just looking for crappie, looking for a kind of a shotgun look on the side imaging. All right, I just want to kind of give you guys an update here. Good structure here. I'm definitely seeing some white marks there for crappie. 
that's another way you can identify so definitely little slits little bitty slits dark shadows here from the crappie over here a lot of structure that's a good way and you can also see it's kind of a peak so you're seeing a lot of structure on that peak a lot of white marks which probably represent crappie along with their shadows but still not what we're looking for in regards to schooled fish for sure but we might sit here and catch a few got more coming up here clearly more coming up right here i hope you guys can see that you can clearly see now the the fish over the structure all right so we've identified some fish and now our job is to refine them with the live scope which won't be too difficult we have to identify where they're at on side imaging and then go to relocate them using our new technology live scope don't forget about Live scope, everything you need to know. Facebook group. I haven't talked about those other groups enough on my videos. And we just got a huge plume of fish right there. Let me show you what I'm talking about here, folks. See those fish on the bottom right there? Those tend to be very active fish. Fish to me that are on the bottom tend to be very active, especially when you see one, two, or three layers of them. To me, they're feeding. That's just me, but I seem to have a lot more successful with those guys. We always put our nose in the wind. Nose in the wind. There, look at that. That is, that is like primo crappie fishing right there. See how they're on the ledge? They're all on the ledge, just sitting there. And these fish are not too far down so i'm going to be throwing a bait without even a split shot you can see it falling right there look at this you're going to see that right off the bat boom watch come on baby Ooh. look at this guy he's got to touch it Yep, he touched it. Look at this. Look at this. First drop. And that's a slabalicious. Ah, it doesn't get you better. First drop of the day. Nice. So Ooh, nice, solid fish. I think we might call this episode Limit. We're going to see if we get a quick limit and I can clean them. I got all the time in the world today. Now, lately. I have been doing a lot of fishing uh, shallow, so we haven't needed a split shot, to be honest with you, and they kind of want it slow, so we have been taking split shots off, but I'm going to go ahead and put one right back on, just because it's uh, something I'm used to. I like seeing it on the live scope, plus these fish tend to be, these fish right here are a little deeper than the ones we have been fishing with. Bait pop, I'm going to use it. Hopefully you guys can see it on the screen here. Either way, I love it because it comes with that original fish formula. And that's what they, they got their name from. I'm telling you, the, they're the original fish scent back in the day. But we're going to drop it right here. I didn't even get that on screen, but look at this pig. Oh my God, Lee. No! <laughs> that was a pig. All right, here we got our first structure of the day. And a lot of these schools will start on these structures. So we're gonna keep him all the way out there at 30 feet. You'll see if they break off or not. But either way, here I am dropping in. One taker. There he is. Yeah. He's of the smaller variety. A little bit smaller than we're going to keep today. We want good fish today. Oh yeah, there 
we go. Number three in the boat. There it is. And there we go. It's a good fish. That's a pig. That's a good sized crappie on my home lake. Slowed up that presentation. That's a, that's a solid fish right there. Thick bag, thick bag. Hey, do me a favor, give me your comments on this new view. I know it's not active captain, but it makes it a lot easier for me. My question is, are you getting enough out of this view as you would active captain? I like it because I think it's a little bit more uh, active. <laughs> Weird to say that, but it just seems like it's, you know, it's, it's reality. You're seeing exactly what I'm seeing. Um, you know, the one thing about that active captain is, is that it really does give you the perfect picture, but it's not necessarily what I'd be seeing. So it's, I don't know if you would call it computer generator, but I've always noticed that the active captain picture sometimes just, it seems way better than what you're actually experiencing. But look at these fish on the ground right here. Look at that. They're just all over. Here he comes, boy. Yep. Big fish, too. Not bigger than the other one. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so what I'm using, 10 footer, as always, optimal, the four strand. You can use optimize if you want some additional strength. I just really like the small stuff. That's that monkey milk three pound fish in plastic. 30 second ounce head. I might even play with the heads today because I know that we've been catching a lot on hair jigs too. You can check those all out at the website. Everything's on sale right now, 20% off for the Christmas season. Wow. Big crappie here. Wow. Big fish. Look at the size of this guy. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Big fish of the day for sure, no doubt about it. Let's weigh it. I want to talk to you about electronics. 205. 205. And we always let the big girls go, so we're going to let this one go. Awesome. Flat out awesome. Look at those guys right there. Look like really good fish too. We're gonna drop right into them. He already got somebody coming to us. And there he is. Right here. All right, just an update. I mean, I am putting a hurting on them. We are roughly around uh, 18 fish right now, almost every cast. Um, this, it just doesn't get any better. I mean, if you're gonna book a guide trip, this, this is sincerely the time to do it. We've found a big pile of them here that are just on the, on the ground, in the mud. And it does matter what I put on the, there's another one. It does matter what I put on the hook, the plastics. They do not like, uh, Super bright color, but right now I'm playing with the Cajun, the Cajun crazy, I mean slabs of fish. I mean, big fish. I mean, look at that. That's freaking hammer time. And uh, here's where... there it is.
I'm gonna finish these off and then we're gonna clean them and I'm gonna show you what I do. All right, folks, well, we made it. Limit 30, what a day, man. Just some fantastic fish, check them out. Just uh, hit our limit, which is absolutely perfect. And yeah, exactly what we wanted in this episode. Hope you enjoyed the side imaging and all that stuff. I'll tell you what, just a fun, fun bite here uh, on my home lake. So check out the guide service, three pound fishing guide service. This spring is awesome, but let me just tell you, the winter time is exceptional. You guys really need to try out the winter. It just, it just gets it done for sure. So. Thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.